Hi sewing friends, welcome to my sewing room. My name is Beth, if you're new, welcome. Today I'm sharing a little project I've been meaning to do for a really long time. I've had this little basket for many years that I often carry around my handwork. And today I'm gonna to show you how I made this little sewing basket organizer. Let's get started. For my project today, I'm using a very heavy Pellon product for the backing of my little organizer. I pieced uh, some fabric. I've got ribbon, belt, and some buttons. First thing I did was I covered the Pellon product here with my pieced uh, fabric and this happens to have an adhesive so the front side of this fusible um, interfacing it's very heavy weight it's very stiff there is a fusible on the front so I was able to press the fabric on that one side and on the back side here I'm just pressing the edges in they will be hidden behind my little background piece here and the first thing I'm going to do is I will top stitch all the way around. top stitching all the way around my background piece here and then I'll begin adding the elements for my sewing basket organizer. There will be a pattern in my Etsy shop listed below and I'm using an old basket. You will need a basket and I found that there's a very similar basket on Amazon so I'll be leaving a link below for that as well. The first thing I will make for my little organizer is a little thread catcher, a little um, bag to put my tiny threads that need to be thrown away in. So I folded my piece and I'm sewing around three sides and leaving an opening. And you can see here I forgot to stop and leave an opening. So I went back and I put an opening in there so I could turn this right side out. Turned it right side out, I pressed, and this is, I only need a front for my little thread catcher. It's going to be sort of like, yeah, a little bag attached to that foundation piece. And I'm gonna press, and then on the folded edge, which is uh, easier to fold than the seamed sides, I'm going to put a little tuck, and it's either, an I think it's, probably about an eighth of an inch and I will put a tuck on the other side as well and these will be sewn down this is the bottom of my little thread catcher Before I attach it to the foundation of my organizer, I'm going to add a little piece of ribbon. Here is the scissor holder and two little pin minders or needle minders and I will be putting ribbon on those as well. These are made out of felt.
I added some buttons for fun and now my little sewing basket organizer is ready to go. All I need to do now is attach it to my basket. Today I'm using a Gorilla Blue and I put it on the back and I also added a little bit to the wicker areas and I think this is going to hold up just fine. I also thought about using a hot glue gun. I think that would work as well. Now my basket is ready. Here is some embroidery I've been working on recently, and this is a great way to transport it and to work on it. I also have um, some English paper piecing that also would work well in this basket. And I thought I would show you an older video where this is the quilt, the horse quilt I made for my son probably 30 years ago, and this is the first uh, project I remember using with this fun wicker basket. If you want to see more about this horse quilt, uh, this is from three years ago and I'll leave a link below. I love the way my little organizer turned out. The only thing is, I think I just waited too long to make it. It's been in my mind for a long time. Thanks for joining me today, and I'll see you next time.